What up, YouTube? Your boy Nestor here. I'm just here to give you a really nice, simple, and a really effective and usual, um, about useful way to import any files you have in Adobe Photoshop into 3ds Max or Cinema 4D. I personally have Cinema uh, 3ds Max, but Cinema 4D. I asked a friend that has it. He's used the same process, and it works the same. Like this picture right here, you see right here, it says the Nestor Productions. I made that picture in Photoshop, and I imported it into 3ds Max to make it to make it 3D like this, and I added lightning, lighting and stuff. So let's get started. Um, you just want to start out with the new file. I'm just gonna use the parameters for the ones I use for logos, just a thousand by a thousand, and then let me just delete the background. Okay, and you just wanna. I'm just gonna make your regular stick man, stick figure, whatever you call it. I know it's gonna look horrible, but hey, it's a tutorial. You can you can work your butts out for your stuff. Give him a little hat. So you have your little stick figure. Once you created whatever you're gonna do, make sure you, whatever you do, make sure your stuff is completely closed. You know, you don't have any little gaps because any little gaps will make it big. You just mess up the whole file. So once you've done this, you want to select all pixels and then go to paths. Paths is right next to your layers. You just hit on paths. When you hit on paths, you want to click on the rollout and make a work path. Once you have done that, you really do not want to touch anything else because you will mess up the process. You just want to go to file, import, I mean export and export as path to illustrator what it does is it makes a uh, adobe illustrator file and when when it makes that file that's the file you'll be able to import into 3ds max or cinema 4d so you want to do is open up your 3ds max or cinema 4d i'm gonna reset my things real quick sorry i'm gonna reset Okay, then you want to click open. You want to go to where you save that file. On files tab, make sure you go to all files or your picture or whatever will not be appearing. Then you just want to open up your little stick man. And you click OK and OK. And you have your stick man right there. Then just to make it look 3D, because that's the point of having this, is to make your objects look 3D easier. Because unless you have a really good video card, it's really hard to do 3D stuff in Photoshop. You want to extrude it a little bit. Put like two extrusion right there. And you can see you have your little 3D stick man. And you can give it, you could probably give it also like a little mesh move. No. Oh, or not. <laughs> Just leave it at this for right now. And then once you've done that, you can just add like a, a plane in the background. You know, just a straight up wall. You want to color it. Uh, I, I do multi-layer. Black. And on the first spectacular level layer, just add a little bit of layer level to give it the shine because we are going to add a light to this. And then for the stick man, I'll just use my favorite color, which is red. Once you have done that, you want to add your light. And there you have it. That's pretty much how it's gonna render out. You got your stick figure there in 3D. Might want to turn the camera view a little bit just so you let the other person know that it's in 3D. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Keep on watching my tutorials. Give me any shout outs or whatever you want me to make for you, do for you. I am doing backgrounds and logos for people. I've done some for Mike Boljangles. You can check him out. He makes really funny parodies. And yeah, that's about it, guys. Peace.